Hey, it's Matt. We're back. Uh, and in this lesson, we're going to be talking about deploying Mage. Specifically, how to deploy Mage um, onto Google Cloud using Terraform. Um, and now this is really technically complex. This is kind of tending more towards DevOps. Um, but maybe if you're on a small team, if you're a solo data engineer, you might be responsible for how um, your systems are deployed. And regardless, it's important to understand and at least be aware of the technologies that are used in deployment. Um, for your projects uh, with the Zoom Camp, um, you will be deploying uh, services. Uh, so this would be important to pay attention to, but I'm gonna show you how to deploy Mage. Um, first, we're just gonna jump into some prerequisites, some setup. Um, in the next video, we'll talk through exactly how to run those Terraform scripts and what that process should look like. So the prerequisites, we're not gonna cover all these, but I'll highlight explicitly what we will co cover in this, in this course. Um, first, you'll need Terraform installed on your local machine. Uh, I'll provide instructions to install that on Mac or Windows, whatever machine you're using. Second, you'll need the G Cloud CLI. And this is just a programmatic way of interfacing with Google Cloud that kind of hooks into Terraform and allows you to authenticate um, and then run those commands. I guess taking a step back, if we're asking, hey, what is Terraform? Terraform is really like an infrastructure management solution. So it lets you um, in one fell swoop sort of create a bunch of resources. So what we're going to do is create uh, an app using Google Cloud Run. We're gonna create a backend database um, in, in Google as well. We're gonna create uh, persistent storage on Google Cloud. And if we were to provision all of these things separately, it would number one, take a really long time. And number two, it wouldn't be version controlled anywhere. It wouldn't be stored as code. So Terraform lets us uh, version control that infrastructure. Um, it creates infrastructure as code that we can then change uh, using um, uh, code and, and code that's stored in a repository somewhere, right? Um, okay, so third, we are also gonna need to configure some Google Cloud permissions to allow our service account to create the resources um, that will be necessary for our Mage project. Um, and lastly, we have Mage Terraform templates. So instead of writing a bunch of Terraform, what we'll do is pull down a Mage Terraform template um, and then just simply run a Terraform apply on that template and that'll deploy your Mage instance uh, directly to the cloud. And so, um, this is, seems complex. There's a lot of technologies here that, um, you know, you might not be familiar with, you might not be an expert in, but we're going to walk through it step by step, um, and, and make it pretty simple for you to understand. The first step though, is going to be to install Terraform and install the Google cloud CLI. Um, so I'm going to drop links to do that, um, in, in the course notes. Uh, you can walk through that on your own. There are pretty extensive documentation out there on how to configure those things. Um, but when we come back, we're going to jump right into um, configuring your Google Cloud permissions. Uh, and then we're going to jump into um, configuring a Mage Terraform template and executing that. Um, so I'll catch you on the other side. Uh, you should have Terraform configured and the Google Cloud CLI installed.